Hey humies, this is Ivy, and this is another studio vlog. It's spooky! So my flat file is super amateur, um, kind of just uh, threw it together in here. It still needs a bottom and it needs, I need to get better wood for the shelves because they're kind of bowing. So that's more um, project for another time. Um, it works just fine now for what I'm using it for, so. I've never filmed in a public place before. I'm waiting for them to cut the wood. This bar is scared of the saw, so we're just walking around waiting for Michael. Hey guys, I got a package. It's from clearbags.com. I haven't ordered from them before. This is the first time. Let's open it. I'm excited. print of him and oh my gosh you can't even tell it's a test print he just looks so nice on this paper and I packaged it and everything too because I wanted to test out these eco-friendly um, sleeves and oh my goodness just I need to stop I'm so excited it looks so nice so speaking of prints I'm gonna open my Etsy shop again. It's been forever since I opened it. 
and yeah, so that's pretty exciting. So there'll be prints and stickers and all kinds of stuff in there. Um, I'm not sure exactly when it'll be open, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll get updates. And not just Etsy, I also open my commissions. So I do portraits, animals, plants, those are like my three things. If you are interested in getting a commission done, just know that it'll be in my style and that I appreciate you and thank you for supporting me if um, you are interested. So with this guy, he is part of a collection I did for um, kind of an October Halloween thing. Um, I did like monsters and pumpkins and stuff. And though all of those original uh, paintings are up in the pick and chicken here in Oregon, it's a store. So that's what I spent most of my October doing, that little collection for that store. And there should be prints for all of those things, I'm hoping, um, soon. And other than doing those originals for that store, I also tried Inktober for the first time. I did finish it and it was okay. It wasn't like, I can't say I loved it, <laughs> but I'm glad that I tried the challenge and I did come up with some really cool drafts for future paintings from the prompts. From the drawings I made from the prompts. So I probably won't do it again, but um, it was a good learning experience and challenges are good for you. But I think in the future I'm gonna try to do very few challenges and I'm gonna do challenges that are more centered around what I do. Like there's one coming up in November that's folklore and I wanna do that one. It's only for a week too, so that'd be fun. Almost forgot, look who got a frame finally. I didn't plan his, him very well canvas wise, so a lot of the frames were too thick and they would cover up part of the painting. Um, lesson learned there. But um, this frame is beautiful. I, was, I found it actually in the store that my paintings are in. So that's pretty awesome. Look at the, like, oop, I just touched the glass. Look at the, um, Check out the details, Ugh. and uh, the back's cool too. I love old vintage antique frames, they're the best. Well, um, that's about it for October. Sorry, this is not gonna be a super awesome um, studio vlog. I was really busy this month. I'm hoping um, with all the new changes I'm gonna be making to everything, that the next studio vlog will be so much cooler. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you enjoy my videos, let me know by hitting the yeah. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye. Have a nice day.